Hi kids! Today we will learn what are data charts, their types, features, and how we use them. So let's start! Data chart is a type of diagram or graph where data is represented by various symbols such as bars in bar graph, lines in line graph, or slices in pie chart. Today we will learn what are bar graphs. A bar chart is a chart with rectangular bars, where the length of bars represent the value of something. And there is a scale along the length of bars which is used to measure the length of bars. The bars can be plotted horizontally or vertically. Bar graphs are used to compare the values of given items at any given point of time. Let's learn more about bar graphs using some examples. Here we have some data. A farmer sold different quantities of fruits in a particular month, and he recorded the sales like this. Now we will store this data in the form of a bar graph. First of all, determine what will be the title of our bar graph. Like it can be quantities of fruits sold. A bar graph has two axes, x-axis and y-axis. We have two types of data. One is the numeric data showing quantities of fruits in kgs. And the other is textual data, the name of fruits. The axis which shows numeric data is called scale. As on the y-axis, we are showing the numeric data. And our numeric data is in the range of 1 to 40. So, Make a scale showing numbers 1 to 40. Now, on x-axis, we will show the names of fruits and will also relate them to their quantities. Like, it's given that 35 kgs of apples were sold. So make a rectangular bar up to the mark of 35 and label it with apples. Now, next fruit is orange. Quantity of oranges sold is 30 kgs. So make a rectangular bar up to the mark of 30 and label it with oranges. Now, next fruit is banana. Quantity of bananas sold is 10 kgs. So make a rectangular bar up to the mark of 10 and label it with banana. Now, the next fruit is kiwi. The quantity sold is 25 kgs. So make a rectangular bar up to the mark of 25 and label it with kiwi. Now next fruit is blueberry. Its quantity sold is 40 kgs. So make a rectangular bar up to the mark of 40 and label it with blueberry. Now next fruit is grapes, and the quantity sold is 5 kgs. So make a rectangular bar up to the mark of 5 and label it with grapes. And our bar graph is ready. This is a graph we just made. Now let's read it. Here the bars are drawn vertically on horizontal axes. This axis is known as horizontal axis or x-axis. The length rectangular bars are represent the quantities of corresponding fruits sold in kgs. Length of the bars is measured with the vertical scale along the vertical axis or y-axis. As the numerical data is given on the vertical axis. This axis is the vertical axis which shows 35 kgs of apples sold. Quantity of oranges sold 
is 30 kgs. Quantity of bananas sold is 10 kgs. Blueberries are sold the most. Bananas are sold the least. So kids, data in the form of charts is much easier to read and represent. It is easier to compare data values. Now let's see another example. We are given with another data from a class of students. Favorite game of each student was asked and noted down like this. Five students like hockey the most. That is the favorite game of five students is hockey. Favorite game of one student is tennis. Favorite game of nine students, football, and so on. Now let's see how it can be represented in the form of a bar graph. We have two types of information. One is the numeric values given the number of students. One is textual values given the names of their favorite game. First of all, we can give a title to our chart. It can be choice of games in a class. We can give titles to each axis of graph. Let X axis be number of students. Let Y axis be name of the favorite game. X axis represents the number of students, so it will be the scale. Number of students is in the range of 1 to 9. So, let the scale be numbered 1 to 10. Now, on y-axis we'll show the names of games and we will also relate them to the number of students whose favorite game it is. Like, it's given that 5 students like swimming the most. So, make a rectangular bar on y-axis up to the mark of 5 and label it with swimming. Now, it's given that two students like archery the most. So, make a rectangular bar on y-axis up to the mark of 2 and label it with archery. Now, it's given that three students like shooting the most. So make a rectangular bar on y-axis up to the mark of three and label it with shooting. Now it's given that eight students like cricket the most. So make a rectangular bar on y-axis up to the mark of eight and label it with cricket. Similarly, we can draw bars for all and our graph will be ready. This is a graph where the rectangular bar are drawn horizontally on the y-axis and the scale is drawn on the x-axis. Let's read the graph. Graph shows that the favorite game of students is football as the bar corresponding to football is the longest. And the length of bar is 9. That is, 9 students like football. Least favorite game of students in the class is tennis. And only one student likes tennis the most. Second most favorite game in the class is cricket, as 8 students like cricket the most. So kids, data represented in the form of a bar graph is easy to read. So kids, today we learned what are data charts and learned how to make a bar graph out of the given data. Also, how to read a bar graph. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye! Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, 
English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.